It's 1040 AM KGGR, Great Gospel Radio. I am Autumn Cannon and so glad that we have special guests here with, with us today in studio. Well, kind of in studio, not really. Yeah, yeah sort of, I guess. Okay, I am so excited to announce GI is with us. Well, partial, <laughs> they're partially here with us. We have Brandon here with us. We are so excited. And thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. I know we have so many things to talk about in so little time. So we're just going to go ahead and jump in there and get started. Where's everybody else, Brandon? You know, I guess they're doing their thing, you know, maybe getting ready to head to Dallas, which we're excited about. Um, you know, we're just been anticipating a, a mighty move of God. Um, that's something that's been in the works and we're excited about it. You're excited about it. All right. Yeah, we're so excited to have you coming here to Dallas. Have you been here before? Have, has the group performed here before? Oh, yes. We've been to Dallas several times. We love we love Dallas. OK, OK. And where are you going to be this weekend? Um, we're going to be at Complete Armor of God Ministries. Um, they are celebrating, I believe, um, their anniversary. And um, they've been talking to us for quite some time about coming down. It might have even been during the pandemic uh, when it just kind of hit and we had to postpone some things. Um, but now, you know, um, it's time. And so we're looking forward to it. Okay, so it's definitely going down on Saturday. Do you have anything special for us? Well, you know, we're going to, you know, do the GI favorites, you know, songs from the years. Of course, the hits. Yeah, the, all the hits and things like that. And, um, you know, we're just excited. You know, um, there's going to be like live music, you know, as well. You know, that's always great. It's, you know, a great asset. But, you know, we're just coming to have a great time. Will you be gracing us with your new release? Absolutely. You know, <laughs> we will definitely have to perform um, our new hit single, Heal the Land, mm -hmm. um, as well as some other surprises, too. Because, you know, after 20 years of ministry, um, God is calling us to do individual um, projects. Okay. And yeah. so, you know, we will probably break off. I might do my new single, God Did It Again. Um, so we're just excited about, you know, even within the group, God is, is doing, you know, works with us individually, um, which is natural, you know, it's a great progression, you know, sometimes people, you know, growing up, you've been kind of trained to look at that as, oh, what he, what do you think he's doing? He's going solo, but yeah, it's nothing but brotherhood over here. You know, we, we celebrate each other and we're happy for each other. That's so good. It's so good to be um, family and a part of a group and, and everyone can kind of do their own thing and no one's jealous or yeah. trying to sabotage someone else's uh, career. Uh, so that's an, an awesome, awesome thing. I definitely salute, salute you brothers for that. Tell me about the process when you do come together for are you writing music or you're playing all kinds of instruments, somebody playing the banjo, what is happening? A lot of times, um, it could happen a couple of ways. Um, one of us have written a song and we're bringing it to the group. Mm -hmm. And so we just start saying, okay, I hear you, Lamont, on this part. I hear you, Curtis, on this part. And we, you know, after 20 years, we're just kind of following the harmony. You know, that's a, a blessing because we've been together so so long. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes a producer might send us a track and be like, you know, hey guys, I hear this song for y'all. What do y'all think? And he might have, you know, arranged it for us and we just kind of sing it. Um, so it happens in different types of ways with Heal the Land. Um, you know, it was during the pandemic. I just, you know, felt God, of course, during that time, um, you know, just saying, you know, uh, it, as a lot of us were drawn, of course, to the second Chronicles 714. And I had never written a song from that scripture. And so I was at the piano one day um, and I wrote, um, you know, a lot of the songs. So I took it to the group and they liked it. And so we finished writing it. Then we gave it to the producer and then, you know, it kind of all came together. Wow. Wow, that is that's that's pretty amazing. Do you ever um, solicit other works? Do you let others write for you and produce for you and play for oh, you? Absolutely. Um, we love giving other writers and other producers a, ch a chance because, you know, growing up in the industry, we remember knocking on doors and hey, listen to us sing. You know, I remember one time I'll never forget we um we um our big sisters now, which is such a blessing and a full circle moment that they support our music. I remember one time when they first came out to Kendra Richmond and we kind of cornered them and we, we, sung, we broke out in harmony and they were just like clapping and everything, um, you know, but, you know, now um, it's a blessing to be able to let others, you know, have a chance, you know, um, we have a music school, BJ School of Music, which is a music in our school 
Um, and one of our students, Christian Bolar, um, he's wow. um, he's was nominated for last year's Stellar Award, um, Youth Project of the Year. But that's just an example of how we want to give back to. He wants to give back. People. Well, how could people uh, get in contact with your school? Is it open to all? Oh, absolutely. Especially you know because with COVID, you know, of course, there's so much negative, um, you know, things that have happened, but it has also caused us to, you know, do things differently. And of course, now we are um, virtually offering help and assistance and lessons globally and internationally. So um, bgaschoolofmusic.com, that is the website. That is bgaschoolofmusic.com. Um, we can help you from learning how to play the piano, um, voice lessons. Um, wow. Music Yes, all of it. Music industry. So it's the one-stop shop. It's it's writing. It's it's everything. Yeah. Instruments. How many instruments? Ooh, I mean, we have at least about eight or nine instruments you can take, and um, you know, it's a blessing. I never knew I would have a music school, but you know, hey, God knows the end before the beginning, and it was just a part of the plan. And so now I'm just really am because of again because we can help students that are trying to navigate and find their way. And we can help them along some paths that we had to find out, you know, in more difficult ways. You know, it can be easier for those that are coming behind us. So how far do you take your students? Um, is the outcome a record deal? Do you help them with like actually being an artist? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Christian Bolar um, is one of the students who actually, um, you know, worked with our record label, BJ Music Group. We took him from, he came to us when he was five years old. And he um, came to the school and he was running around and I just noticed him. He was hanging on the keyboard, he was singing, um, he was acting in our plays that we do. And I was like, man, I just feel like, you know, there's a calling on his life. And I mean, here we are now, he's 14. Um, you know, he's been nominated twice at the Stellars. Uh, he performed at the Stellars um, last year at the, um, the pre-show. And so, you know, it's just, amazing what God has done, but he's an example of how we took him and we recorded, you know, went into the studio, did the projects and the whole nine, so. Wow, that is so amazing. And speaking of Stellars and uh, you've gotten all kinds of award nominations and doves and all kinds of things. How does that feel to be at this point? Um, it's humbling, you know, you, you, you grow up watching those types of shows and you, you know, for of us who have a passion for it, you hope that one day people will recognize your work. Mm -hmm. um, so to for it to actually happen and for those doors to be open, you know, um, those are just, you know, moments where we can say, thank you, Lord. You know, it, it wasn't all in vain because no, it will never be in vain because, you know, it's ministry. That's right. And so for us, the greatest thing that has ever happened is when somebody said, okay, I decided to live, you know, um, so ministry is always the reason, um, but I would say it, um, it's encouraging for your peers or for your industry to notice the work that you do, um, you know, because, you know, it's encouraging and everybody, you know, um, I guess enjoys encouragement. So, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. This is so exciting and educated brothers. That's what <laughs> I'm talking about. That's so awesome. Uh, we are so looking forward to, um, what God is going to do even further for GI and even for you individually and for your families. And you guys have families as well, correct? Yes, yes. Um, uh, Lamont has a, a, ooh, I think Jayla now may be 10, 11, and he has a son, um, seven years old. Um, Curtis has a daughter. Um, I believe she might be almost knocking on 10 door, you know. Um, so, you know, uh, we, you know, they um, have, you know, wives and all that stuff. And Are your children into music? Now, now my children um, have not been conceived yet. <laughs> okay, well, you're coming. So I, <laughs> but um, I must say, I do see music continuing in my family because it's always been in my family. My father, um, he was a songwriter and a musician. My mother, um, she um, is a musician. Um, when she was pregnant with me, she, she played the piano and she prayed that I would have the gift of music. Wow. And so that's why I always say, because she is, I am. Um, and, you know, I know God is real. You know, nobody could ever tell me differently um, because here I am with the gift of music. And, um, 
you know, so I definitely can see that continuing in our family. It's always been my grandmother. Um, she was a great singer. And at 92 years old, I helped her um, uh, fulfill her dream before she went to be with the Lord. She recorded a song, oh. uh, Walk in Jerusalem, Just Like John. Yeah. And, and it's so amazing because we never really promoted it or anything like that, but it's getting so many streams. Mm. And so that just goes to show, you know, it's never too late. At 92, she did that. So yeah. it will definitely continue to, I believe, be music in our family. Wow, that's so good. It's so refreshing to find artists who are just doing well, doing well and keeping things going. So again, tell us where we can see you, where we can come and hear you, we can come and minister with you this weekend on Saturday. Where are you going to be again? Yes, yeah, so it is Complete Armor of God Ministries. Um, you know, we have the flyer, the, the, um, the address on our social media. Um, please connect with us, GI Forever 3 on Instagram. Okay. Um, on Facebook, GI Forever, but we are going to be in Dallas this Saturday, February 26th. The doors open at 6 30, concert starts at 7. I'm telling you, it's going down. We, we're coming yes. with, we praying, don't worry, I'm ready. Um, all the songs that God has blessed us with, and you know, we're just looking for a great time in the Lord and, and just to celebrate. You know, this is one of our first engagements um, post pandemic. You know, a lot of us have been kind of stationary but now we're beginning to move around again so yeah. it makes it even more exciting um yeah. so and we're excited we're excited as well um and we're excited about this new single heal the land which yeah. is right here on 1040 a.m kggr let me tell you you're gonna be bumping that like crazy thank y'all for y'all support it means so much i'm telling you, it never gets old every time you know we call it a five heartbeat moment every time we hear it on the radio it's like, oh, look at what God has done. You want to call it mom, mom, we're on the radio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is so awesome. Well, Brandon, we thank you so very much for stopping by. Tell the rest of the guys that we said hello and that we will definitely uh, see you on Saturday and really, really looking forward to uh, more things that God has uh, in store for you. Well, thank you, Autumn, for having me. And again, we're looking forward to Saturday as well. And keep up the great work that y'all are doing here on yes, the yes, and sir. beyond. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.